Oh, hello everybody, this is Theron. Welcome to Minecraft Land Party. Are you gonna give me your head? No. So I'm here on the Minecraft Land Party server and I'm trying to get Wither Skulls unsuccessfully um, picking off a few of these guys but I noticed that this isn't very uh, 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 this isn't very productive probably because I haven't finished slabbing up all this area here and I've noticed that I've got guys up over there they spawn on top of my little walkways because the way I design them allows them to do that so I've got stone brick here with uh, on top of it I've got uh, you know sea lanterns and then glass I don't know if they can spawn on the sea lanterns it's worth figuring out but they can definitely spawn on the stone bricks and pigmen are not so sensitive to light level head low so that means uh, I can get them spawning up there. I need to slab up. I mean, I've been slabbing off and on all this stuff down here. So it looks, you know, super dark down there because I'm doing it with nether brick slabs. And there's more blazes. Oh, um, oh, skellies or a skelly. Come here, dude. So we will... So, I have to do something about ah, the fact that they can spawn on top of my tunnels. So, let's, uh, we're going to try something there. Hang on a second. There are ten iron golems in there. Huh, that's right. So, I haven't done much with the village or the villagers, primarily because 1.13 is coming at some point. Somebody borrowed my farming implement. I need carrots. Um. Oh, it looks like somebody borrowed it and actually chopped something down. I'm going to have to make another uh, fortune farmer for down here. Okay. Uh, anyway. Oops. Do this what was it what was I talking about it totally blanked I need carrots um, I'm not sure it's gonna leave me with at least a stack of carrots oh yeah easy two stacks on the nose let's put this back Yeah, that's right. Let's, uh... Oh, yeah. 1.13. Coming out. I've got... Villagers there. I will need to... Hang on to them. Because, and I've got empty slots here for more villagers. Because they're new enchantments. So I will have to... Work on breeding new villagers. New uh, librarian villagers. To... Help me make boop, golden carrots, boop, make all those back into nuggets and blocks. Awesome. I now have backup food. I'm starting to run out there. Somebody take some carrots. Somebody took some carrots. Oh, okay. That's fine. I'm not upset. I have plenty of carrots. I'm happy to share. And what's this? Sharp two. Huh. Oh, huh. Okay. I have to go drop some stuff off. And then 
I have an idea about how to help prevent pink men from spawning on top of my uh, walkways. Hang on a sec. So I don't know why I'm so eager to get more Wither Skeletons Colts. I have three right here so I can make another beacon. I have two beacons in my beacon box. And I got a beacon right here that I'm not even using. So I, I don't know. But I, I want to make the nether farm more productive. And what I thought about doing was I came over here and AFK'd at the at this string farm a little bit. And I have a whole shulker box. Don't do that. I have a choker box full of string here, and I was thinking, oh, I'll just go lay string down on top of the uh, the walkways. Uh, that, um, but uh, that doesn't really work. And think about it, mobs have to be able to walk into string in order to uh, in order to uh, trigger it as tripwire. So doesn't prevent them from spawning it doesn't create it there's no collision box all that good stuff so I'm gonna head back towards the uh, towards the the thing there and then let me show you how I kind of convinced myself that uh, string doesn't prevent mobs from spawning welcome to my testing world for a little mini episode of uh, Minecraft science so I've got a platform here that's made out of stone solid blocks things can spawn on it and nothing else is in the world and I've got a little area over here non spawnable where I can control things so I can do things like oh let's make it night let's set it the difficulty to hard and let's make it the middle of the night and you can see stuff start spawning over there and give myself some night vision so I can see it happening oh yeah lots of mobs so let's uh, get rid of them make it daytime and uh, don't need to clear the platform but if i fill the platform with tripwire which is hard to see but you can see it's a whole grid crisscross tripwire and i go set it back to nighttime and make it a hard difficulty stuff spawns yep right there see it yep 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 okay let's get rid of everybody yeah, let's uh, make it daytime, clear the platform. So, if I go and make this instead of tripwire, um, it's stone button, right? Tried a lot of things. And if I make the whole floor out of buttons, nothing spawns so that's what I have to do I tried a lot of different things um, I don't want to put slabs on top of the walkways because they'll be they'll peek up and they'll be visible I guess I can make it work uh, I don't want to put carpet up there I could make that work I just don't have enough carpet and I don't want to make it black or, or something like that so I'd have to do a lot of harvesting of wool buttons I got lots of I have lots of stone and from down below buttons not even going to be visible and i don't think it'll look too bad and it'll prevent things from spawning so that's probably what we're going to do this is my little spawning area so i can i can now test different things which is cool because uh i always have questions about whether or not stuff will spawn on things so I can put in here and I can I can say uh, <sighs> so I had the question of whether or not things could spawn on sea lanterns and here's a block of sea lanterns let's uh, but of course nothing's gonna spawn on that because the light levels are way too high and I don't know if the pigmen will spawn on it despite the despite the because of the the light level so we'll just have to see the one thing I don't think I don't think I can place buttons on top of sea lanterns though right can I no no I cannot okay so we'll have to see if the pigments still spawn on them but hopefully by just cutting down the stone bricks 
that will make a huge difference. Oh, some hair in the nether. I got me some. Let's go up here. Boop. Uh, I have a box full of stone, which will be useful. I don't know how much I'm going to need, but it should work. I got me some, let's do this. So I have a bunch of blocks. Hey, oh. Uh. All right. So my thought is that I could easily just make a whole mess of buttons. And I have some fire resist potions. And I'll just come up here and place buttons on top of everything. And the fire resist potions are so when the gas show up and start shooting, I can protect myself against that all right so we just go and place a bunch of buttons along here so nothing can spawn on top of the walkway here I don't see magma cubes spawning up here at least not the big ones because I don't think I have enough space to with the glass but hi dude I put a button at your feet thank you and I don't have to do this you know for thousands and thousands of blocks I have plenty of but I have plenty of stone I could do that um, so all I have to do is from the farthest extent of the nether fortress area. Oops, I need to, come on. I thought I made more buttons. Guess not. Buttons, buttons. Plop, 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 plop. All I have to do is do this 128 blocks around the nether fortress area. Oh. Whoa. Ah, look, there's a gas here up there. And some gunpowder. Get the gas tier. Whoa. Or was there a gas tier? What is this stairway? Oh, I don't know. It's dark. Let's put down some more light. Ah, let's see where this goes. It may go nowhere. Oh man. Okay. Somebody dug a little uh, little stairway. Trying to get somewhere, I presume. I thought I saw a gas tube up there, but I think it was one of those torches. Ah, it's too bad. Oh well. Okay, so one downside to use buttons for this purpose is that gas fireballs will knock them off. <laughs> oh man, who's shooting now? Oh, it's Blaze, not a gas. I can shoot him. Don't think uh, blaze shots will blow up buttons, so. There you go. So I may have to periodically come up here and survey. Whoa. 
Oh, man. Ha oh, ha. Okay. So there's a little bit of risk of me coming up here and doing this, but it should be a one-time thing. Um, I will have to go get some red glass and sea lanterns. Plop. And repair that little spot. But no big deal, easy enough. I think I have plenty of red glass somewhere. And once I get this area spawn proofed, then uh, it should make things a lot better for, it should help. It won't, it, I don't know how much of an improvement it'll make, but it'll help with the uh, trying to collect, uh, trying to co collect uh, wither skeleton heads in the, the, the nether fortress. And let me get this in, then we'll go down below and check to see if you can even see them. Oh, another piece of missing gla red glass. Okay. Okay, this is going to work nicely. From down here, you cannot even see the buttons. And maybe from over... Well, i got buttons up over there, too. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be able to see them. Maybe long distance. Oh, I can kind of see them up there. Yeah, no big deal. Okay, I'm gonna get some glass and uh, and repair up uh, some of that stuff, but then I need to show you an update on the witch farm. Okay, I'll better. Whoa! Look at all the skeletons in there. That has to be coincidence. That can't have to. That can't be due to the fact that I just spawn proofed all those blocks right let's go see if we can get a skull here hello guys come to the party oh hello mr. blaze you can't hurt me not really oh I got withered Oh, it's a little messy in here. Hello. And take that. A lot of blazes here. Come on. Oh, let me eat. I'm hurting. Oh, hello, Mr. Regular Skeleton. Let me take care of you. Let me just shoot some of you guys, because you're kind of annoying. You're not hurting me. Did that magma cream just, just spawn right there? Good. Oh, and you didn't even die. Oh. And I got a wither skeleton skull out of all that. Okay, very nice. So that, maybe that helped. I don't know. That's really, uh, really weird that the, the fortress would be that full. And there's a party on the server. There's like, I've got bunches of people on right now. So hey, stop it. There we go. Hi. Give me your magma cream because I need to make more blaze. I need to make more fire protection potions. Oh, very good. Yay, so I got another wither skeleton skull. Let's go get another beacon. Yeah, let's go do that. Hello, Mr. Weather. Feel my axe. That was super corny. Come on, you can do it. Another star. Yay. Okay, very good. Let me uh, put the stuff away and then I will show you 
the uh, the update on the the witch farm. So I don't really care if the pig beds spawn on the walkways over here. I'm not going to try and spawn proof any of this stuff. It's just over by the nether fortress where it matters. So here's the witch farm. And I'm, I, I finished my building. Not super awesome, but the cool thing is you can see in. We're not going to see much activity now, but I, I can still see the sorting system in action. Thank you. Um, that cat was unable to, was unable, I couldn't make the cat sit. Uh, I had a weird situation. Hi. Uh, I had a, there was a trap over here, a skeleton horse trap. I was AFKing inside my little glass cube there and it was thundering and there was a lightning strike over here and then there was a skeleton horse sitting there. And of course, it, as I walked over towards the portal, it turned into into a skeleton trap and the dog and the cat both started running over there to try and help me, I guess. And the cat ended up sitting, after I killed the skeletons, the cat ended up sitting on the chest here and if I pushed it off the chest, it would come down here, it would be standing and I couldn't make it sit back down. And it would just stand. So I don't know if that was a client server type thing. Hey buddy. Yeah, there we go. And and then it made me wonder if it was even my cat. Uh, it has to be because it teleported to me from who knows where. But anyway, uh, I not much else has changed here. I, I expanded my little cocoa bean farm. Right. So now oh, that looked weird to me. It looked like things were exploding down there. Maybe it's just me. Uh, and then, so I expanded it. Stuff's still growing, but this generates a ton of cocoa beans, which is awesome. And then I've been collecting the mushrooms, so I've got a few there to collect. But uh, cocoa beans I've got going into a shulker box over here, which I think is now full. So, yay. Lots of cocoa beans so I can make all kinds of brown glass which is great and now the sun's going down so i think that's a good time to say goodbye goodbye good night whatever uh, i've got more mob spotting down there was that another dog oh let's go have a look Oh, this is one of the skeletons from the skeleton trap. Another skeleton horse. Goodness gracious. They must have fallen off the platform up there when I shot, when I was uh, attacking them. Wait, or is this another trap? Can I get on him? Yeah, I can get on him. Cool. I don't have another saddle on me, though. That's interesting. Very nice. Okay, well... That's that. It's getting dark. And that's all I had to show you. So I'm going to go back up there and say goodbye. There we go. Woohoo. Very nice. There we go. That's it. This is uh, Theron. It's Bangsplat. And this is the Minecraft LAN party server, and I will see you next time. All right, bye.